up those drums. We gotta get on the train. I'll be there in a less than a jump hill. Uh, Abby, um, Jessica, Rachel, hurry and get on the train. Where's Miss Joy? I don't want her to miss the train. She went to pick up uh, Miss. Uh, new. <laughs> she went to pick up Abby. Has anybody seen Miss Joy yet? Here, here, here she comes now. Oh, Hi. Myra, we almost missed the train. I'm sorry, I was doing inspired music practice on the line. Okay, is um, my iPod here? Um, is, is everybody on board? Don't worry about a thing. Everything's on the okay. train. All right, then let's get ready to pull out on our whistle stop tour to St. Louis, and it's going to be a salvation celebration. You know what, guys? I even heard that the mayor of St. Louis is going to be there. Is everybody on board? Everybody but you, Miss Joy. Come on. Okay. All aboard! There's something familiar about that young Miss Joy. You're right, Abby. I just can't place her. Oh well. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, let's go! I can't believe I'm on a real train, Miss Joy. Yes, trains are so cool. Check out the engine. I like the dining cart. Yum. My favorite are the whistles and bells because they're so musical. Speaking of whistles, what is a whistle stop for? Well, Rachel, the train is going to stop at cities all along the way to St. Louis. And we're going to tell everybody who comes to see us all about the good news of the gospel. What do you mean? The good news. The good news that Jesus loves us and died for us on the cross at Calvary so that we can know God and live with him forever. But doesn't everybody already know that? 
No way! How would they know unless somebody told them? My cousins Libby and Ansley don't know what Jesus did for them. No, but I think they're going to be at the next stop. Do you think they could come with us, Miss Joy? I think that would be a great idea, Gabe. But if we don't know about the Joy, that means they're not Christians. You're right, Jessica. We're going to be busy telling people all about Jesus. They won't fit in with us. Well, what, a, what about if we tell them? What a privilege to share Jesus with Libby and Ansley. I think they should come. I have a pre plenty of cheese. Nothing like sharing the Lord over a piece of cheese. Yum. Excuse me, but do Libby and Ansley have tickets? Who are you? The conductor, my dear. It's my job to collect the tickets. Excuse me, the name is not in here. It's Ashley. Sounds more like Snoopy to me. Well, no. Um, it's okay, Miss Conductor. I'll pay for their tickets. Rats. I'm telling you, nothing familiar about that conductor. You're right, Abby. I just can't place her. Oh, well, this is going to be some fun. You guys want to hear a song? All right, here we go. Be ready to give an answer. Know what you believe. Hide God's word in your heart before you wear it on your sleeve. Shine your light for Jesus. Shake the off and plant the seed. Be ready to give an answer. Know what you believe. Oh, yeah. Can you tell me, Ansley? I bet you can. calling yourself a turkey. That's not nice. Not turkey, Albuquerque. Why did she call herself an Albuquerque? I see Libby and Ansley. Quick, everybody off into positions. Let's sing Born Again. Where the ducky's hatch. 
but I tell you no, it makes no difference. No, it makes no difference. It makes no difference because we all been born. Bible says that today is the day of salvation. It's not Monday or Tuesday or Thursday. You skipped Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's not thir Wednesday. It's today. That's right. Today is the day of salvation and you can be born again. If you ask Jesus to be Lord of your life, just to forgive your, just forgive your sins and ask him into your heart. God loves you so much. Please make that decision today, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye. God bless. Bye. All right, everybody, back in the train. It's time to go. Miss Joy, Miss Joy, Abby, Ansley, and Lemon can come with us. Their mom said it was okay. That's great, Gabe. It's great to have you guys on board. It's really wonderful to be here, Miss Joy. Yes, thank you for your gracious offer to accompany you. I am elated on be beyond belief. All aboard! Tickets, please! Um, I've got their tickets, Miss Conductor. These tickets are for seats in different cars. You don't have to follow me, please. But I really want to be with my cousin Gabe. Precisely, and I was looking forward to the collective group experience. But there are two seats right there. Rats. Oh, I mean, I'm not. Excuse me, Miss Conductor. No, I don't think so. Take your seat, please. I'm telling you, there's something familiar about you. You can leave it and be accepting the Lord as a piece of cake. Ha ha ha! Wanna play a game? Can you guess my name? It's a fun game. So come on and play. Ready? Here it goes. I am the master of disguises. I'm never who you think. I'm clever, cool, conniving. A creeper will rat face. Can you guess it? Oh well, too soon. I love the trick to kind of use the fall in a maze. I'm great at making smokies to keep you in a haze. How about now? Any guesses? Oh well. We'll try again, perhaps. I thrive on plumbing, paints, and schemes like chicken ladder show. By now you wash and know my friends exactly who I am. Ready yet? Too late. Time's up. I'm Rita Rat. Big Bad Rita. What a game.
deceiver to who got a more. Leaving Andy so innocent who don't get no the more. I want all them a song and dance so often than my talk. Round the world will travel, famous fortune is my lord. But this time won't be easy, this train of soul of kids. Slobby little Christians who love to fight their skin. Oh, to read a rap, don't hurt my feelings. Give you my number, we'll do lunch. Ooh. Ah, I love to play the engineer conductor through it too. It takes him back away to think I might be fooling you. I work my way aboard this train and trap him to and to Silly kids with attitudes who don't know about a man. I know it sounds like I'm a wolf, I'm not too silly goose. But really, folks, I'm kind of right. Yes, read it on the loose. I'm ready to rap. Ha, ha, ha. Big What a scam. Big Arena. I'm such a ham. Big Arena. Want a tip? Big Arena. Read my lips. Read a rap. Hey, you kid. Want to be in pictures? Want to be star? Don't you want to be rich? Come on, kid. It's great to have you guys on board with us. Yes, this is a, this is a new this is an entirely new experience for us. We've never been on a high velocity rail vehicle before. A V what? You mean a train? Yeah, she means a train. Your music is scintillating. I was duly impressed by a song Born Again. I don't understand what Born Again means. This concept of being born again is outside of my realm of comprehension. think they want to know what we're talking about. Who thinks they can explain to Libby and Ansley what it means to be born again? Good, go for it. In the Bible, in the third chapter of the Gospel of John, Jesus says that you must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. When you were born into the world for the first time from your mother, you were born with a body. Yeah, with arms and legs and toenails and a belly button. <laughs> But when you trust in Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, and to forgive your sins, it's your spirit that's born again. I don't think I get it yet. Yes, this is still a bit elusive and incomprehensible. Yes, sometimes I don't understand what the Bible says, but I know this. He loves me and he loves you too.
I didn't know that God loved me. And he has a special plan for each of our lives. He really does? Absolutely. He knows the things I'm going to go through. He understands how I feel. And he has a special plan for each of our lives. You all have so much fun traveling together. We do have a good time. We wish we could be in your group and have all this fun. It is fun, but it's not all we're about. We have a purpose. We want to help people know how much Jesus loves them and how to be friends with him. Jesus loves us all the time? All the time. Even when we do something bad? That's right. Even when we do something horribly indescribably more than anything you can imagine bad? No matter how bad, Jesus loves us unconditionally. That means Jesus loves us no matter what. Oh, how about a break this up? Oh, Libby and Ansley? Yes. I need to speak to you privately. It's about your ticket. Is there a problem? Well, you see, your tickets have an optional trip on them. I can help better right here to choose all and join the kids. But listen. Let me be frank, I'm only a conductor on the side, but really I have my own tour group called Thirst Get All Singers. Compared to us, these kids are small time, small time. It's perfectly obvious to my trained eye that the teacher are usually are extremely talented children. If you join the Thirst Get All Singers and come with me, we'll grow around the world, we'll play the biggest concert halls, collect big bucks. Forget the Jesus stuff and follow me and I'll make sure you're well taken care of. When we get to St. Louis, I'll recover my engine from the train and you can come with me for a future filled with fame and fortune. Well, thank you for the extremely generous offer. We'll think about it, Miss Conductor. Oh, rats. They're gonna think about it. 
uh, Libby Ansley, what did the conductor want? She was out. She was offering us an opportunity to join the Risk It All Singers. The Risk It All Singers? That's strange. Why would she do that? I'm telling you, there's something familiar about the conductor. Please excuse the interruption. Could you continue from where you left off? We were talking about how much Jesus loves us that he died on the cross for our sins at Calvary. Why did he do that? Well, it's as if you did something really bad, something that you should be punished for. But your best friend stepped up, and he said that he would take that punishment for you. But my friend didn't do anything wrong. He doesn't deserve to be punished. Jesus didn't do anything either, but he took the punishment for us. It's his gift to us. Next station, Wichita! God bless you. I beg your pardon? Excuse me, but didn't you just sneeze? No, Gabe. She's at Wichita. Cause he's tight. <laughs> um, Abby, why don't you share your testimony with us at the next stop? Oh, rats. This is getting at hand. I was a sinner headed down the path of ruin and destruction, a real mess. A juvenile delinquent filled with pride and spite and I was living life as I thought best. But as I was collecting on the wages for my sin and the devil thought the deal was watertight I heard the call of Jesus Deep within my soul, hallelujah, praise the Lord, I saw the light.
Thank you for telling us your story, Abby. It genuinely spoke to my heart. Now I understand more about God's gift to me. Maybe an answer. Almost ready to accept the Lord. I've got to think fast. Maybe there's something I can do to mess things up. Next stop, St. Louis. This is the end of the line. Look at the arch, everybody. We're here. Wow, thank you very much, Miss Mayor. What an encouragement to the kids and I as we continue our ministry to kids around the world. You know, this page reminds me of another page, a page in heaven in God's book of life, where the names of everyone who accepts Jesus as their Lord and Savior are written down. And it's my prayer for each and every one of you that you would take the gift that's free, take the gift of eternal life that Jesus bought and paid for when he gave his life for us on Calvary. It's your decision but it's the most important decision that you will ever make. And when you do, when you say yes to Jesus, your name will be written in God's book of life. Miss Joy, I want to take the gift. I want Jesus to come up in my heart too, Miss Joy. I want my name to be written in God's book of life.
Congratulations, Libby and Ansley. You've just been born again. Happy re-birthday. about Jesus. Yeah, you can go on all our trips, like the time when we went camping and learned how to take things one step at a time. <laughs> Me too, Miss Joy. How do I get to know Lord, the Lord better? Well, the first thing to do is you need to start to read the Bible. And you know what? I'll let you guys borrow mine. Um, did anybody see where I put my Bible? I thought I had it right here. My Bible's missing. A conductor's hat. You guys, it was Rita Rat the whole time. She thought she would be up to her old tricks again. She stole my Bible. Well, you know what, guys? We are not going to let her get, get away with this because kids have got to learn how to get to know the Lord better. We will track her down. We will climb the highest mountain, swim the deepest seas, and we will find my missing Bible because kids have got to know how to be saved and know about the Lord. Yeah! You know what, guys? Even though my Bible's missing, there really isn't anything to worry about because God is still in control. Yeah! He'll help us find my missing Bible. The victory is already ours. You know why? Because Jesus is Lord of all.
What a wonderful song to end it, that Jesus is Lord of all. You have heard the gospel tonight by these young children. You know, I, every, every time I watch young children do something like this, I'm reminded of our Lord, and the, and the scripture talks about how wearied he had to feel from the Sadducees and the Pharisees and all of the people that were trying to destroy him. At one point in time, some little children were coming his way, and some folks were rebuking the children for doing that. And he said, no, no, let the children come to me. And can't you see why? How much joy that brought our Lord in the midst of all of those people trying to really do him harm and uh, make his life difficult for the children to really be around him. And I tell you, what a delight. You, you young children did a great, great job. You need to give them a hand. They, they were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Julie, I want you to come up here. Joy, come over here. These two have the responsibility uh, of ministering to your children. And uh, I can't think of two people that are better equipped, better qualified, and have a greater love to do this than these two. Again, they were this age not that long ago up here doing this, and now here they are, these grown ladies, and you two did a great job. Thank you very much. Julie and Joy, you guys are great. Now, uh, ushers, we're going to take an offering, and then we'll have a word of prayer. Now, I know a lot of you are taking pictures and video, but uh, this will be Brent. One of you.